Good morning. My purpose today is to make sure you get the classes you want for next year. Class space will be limited, so following the following process is imperative. This process is important to you because what you forecast for will be the only classes you can have. You must make decisions now about the classes you want to take next year. Please understand that what you forecast for and the alternatives you list are the only classes you can get for next year. We hire teachers based on what classes you put on these forms. Is this clear? As we go through this presentation, I will show you a variety of forms. As we discuss each document, please follow along on your own forms. There will also be information that is specific for your class. I will be referring to you by your graduation year. Remember that we are forecasting for your classes for next year. That is 2012-13. Before we get started, teachers, please make sure your students have the following pages. One, a yellow course catalog. Two, each grade's forms by color. The forecast form with courses needing teachers approval application courses on the back. Class of 2015, your color is salmon. Class of 2014, yours is green. And class of 2013, it is blue. I will give you some time while we make sure all students have the appropriate forms. This document will guide you through the forecasting process. Please follow along in your own catalog. Turn to page three in your yellow catalog to the section labeled graduation requirements. This page describes the regular diploma requirements for graduation. You will notice that the requirements change depending on your graduation year. Please take a close look at the requirements for your class as you plan. While the state only requires three years of math and three years of science, we recommend taking as much math and science as you can. If you have specific questions, please see your counselor. If you're interested in earning an honors diploma, please take a look at page four for the additional requirements for this diploma. Now please turn to page five. If you have thoughts of being a valedictorian, you need to carefully review the information on page five and make sure your counselor knows of your interest. Please turn to page six. The remainder of the catalog includes course descriptions for all of the courses that can be offered at West Albany. Once we have covered the rest of the forecasting process, this is the document you should use to select courses to place on your forecasting form. Read the entire course description before signing up for a class. You should watch for fee requirements and prerequisite requirements. Um, choosing a class because a friend is taking it is not a good reason to select that class. Dog team leaders, please make sure that your students have their high school counts booklet to refer to as they select their classes for forecasting. Students, the High School Counts booklet can guide you on class choices based on the career area you may be considering entering. I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes looking at each grade level forecasting form. Class of 2014, please listen up. Thank you. You have more flexibility in selecting electives and advanced placement courses. See your math teacher for their recommendation of what math class you should take next year and have your teacher initial the recommendation. If you did not take U.S. History 302 last year, this year you need to forecast for both U.S. History 302 and 303. This will cover your U.S. History requirement. You also have an option of taking AP, Advanced Placement U.S. History, to meet this requirement. If you are planning to be a valedictorian, you should forecast for this course. Understand that because it is an AP course, you should expect 
a more difficult and more rigorous curriculum than US 302 and US 303. Either this year or next year, you will need to take a social studies selective class also. Most of you have taken physical science and biology in your first two years of school. You could forecast for chemistry, anatomy and physiology, or physics, or two of the science selectives for your third credit of science. You have some options for your junior English language arts classes too. All ju juniors will take composition, and one other selective from the list of choices in the course catalog. Please make sure you list alternatives to your first choices of English language arts selectives. The other option you have would be to take AP composition for your junior year English. You would then not need to take composition. Again, please list alternatives if you decide not to take AP comp or if the class is not available for some reason it is important to list alternatives. You must fill in every box on the form. Please do not forecast for more than two open periods. You must forecast for a minimum of six classes. If you plan to have an open period, you must have parent permission each semester, and it is not guaranteed. We're including a place for your parent's signature at the bottom of the forecasting form that will cover okaying both open periods and course selections. Additionally, your class has to pass the Oaks math, reading, and writing tests in order to graduate. If you did not pass these tests, an essential math, reading, or writing skills class may be added to your schedule. All students, please listen. I don't think I have to do this again. We have courses that require teacher's approval by signature. Oh, I did it anyway. Or application only. Please see the reverse side of the forecasting form for a list of these courses. If you are attempting to get a class that requires an application or are trying out for cheerleading or the dance team, there are some additional steps for you to complete. Please go to the teacher to get the application required or to get information about the requirements for tryouts. The completed applications must be turned in with your forecasting form no later than March 15th. Please write down this date. All forms, including applications, are due March 15th to your dog team leader. On your forecasting form, list the class you are applying for or a class that involves tryouts or selections in the elective box number five or number six as one of your alternatives on the bottom of the form. In the if approved drop box, please indicate which elective from the top of your page you would drop if you are selected for the application or tryout class. Teachers will review applications and will have uh, made their decisions final later on this school year. So, here is your assignment. Using the course catalog, complete your forecasting form and turn it in no later than March 15th to your dog team leader. If you are attempting to get into any class that requires teacher approval, you will need to take your forecasting form to the appropriate teacher to get their signature. No signature, no class. If you are attempting to get into an application class or a tryout class, you must also turn in your application by March 15th. No application, no class. Please recycle your course catalogs by turning them in when you turn in your forecasting form. If you have questions, please see your counselor for specific information about your educational plan. It is much better to ask the questions than to assume or to listen to advice from another student. Sorry, students. All students, you must have your parents sign the bottom of the forecast form before you turn it in. Juniors and seniors, this includes forecasting for open periods too. All boxes must be filled in on the forecasting form. Remember, to list alternative electives in the bottom section of this form in case the electives you wish to take is, are canceled or won't fit into your schedule. Remember that the electives listed on the bottom of the form must be different from the ones listed on the top section. Again, all forecasting forms are due no later than March 15th to your dog team leader. Please see your counselor if you have any individual questions. You have until 11.20 a.m. to begin the process of completing your forecasting. All students, 
are to stay in their class until 11.20 a.m. 